And we're flying. And we're out. Flying high, Ricky Foster is one big step closer to being an airline pilot after finishing basic flight school at United's Aviate Academy. I feel like an eagle up here. The former flight attendant and mother of two is among 51 future flyers in Aviate's inaugural class. It's part of United's effort to address the continued pilot shortage while diversifying a workforce that is overwhelmingly white and male. This first graduating class is 80% women and minority. Your graduating class looks nothing like a flight school anywhere else. No, it looks nothing like the industry. But guess what it does look like? It does look like the demographic we serve. It looks like our passengers. United expects major U.S. carriers will need 10,000 new pilots this year, but only have about 6,600 qualified candidates. The cost and time to be an airline pilot discourages people despite a potential six-figure salary. For decades, you could take for granted that the military and civilian flight schools were going to produce enough pilots, and all you had to do was go out and hire them. But now that there is a shortage, programs like this uh, are going to be important to the future. United is the first major U.S. carrier to start its own flight school. CEO Scott Kirby. Does Aviate get you out of that pilot crisis? Aviate is not going to, certainly in the short term, they're still four to five years away from showing up for their first day in a United Airlines cockpit. But it is the right kind of long-term answer to not just solving the pilot shortage, but creating good careers uh, for people and giving people access uh, you know, to careers that can be life-changing for them, their families, and their communities. You are my first passenger. Ricky Foster will now work as a flight instructor to build her hours so her dream job can take flight. Chris Van Cleve, CBS News, Phoenix.